Dave Beeman. <laughs> and this is Brig. <laughs> I was born in Fort William, Ontario, and it's now called Thunder Bay. Well, I was the youngest of four kids. I have an older brother, an older sister, and my eldest brother passed away before I was even born. I think I was a replacement. And my dad was a small town lawyer, but the main thing we had was a cottage on Shabandawan Lake where we spent every summer, where I still go, if I can, visit for a month in July. For the, book, the last 40 years, I've lived in Calgary, Alberta. Alberta is my home where I love the mountains and I ski, and uh, although I will be 92 in March, I still hope to ski this year because it isn't everybody says that they have skied for 88 years. Times have changed a lot since we had our, our first ski cabin in Canmore where we bought the lot that backed onto Spring Creek for $800. I started skiing when I was four years old. When I was 18, I skied near Quebec City in the, in the Dominion Championships. But I certainly didn't win because I, all I trained on was on an 800-foot hill, and the hill was 2,300 feet, and I didn't even have a toe. We had to walk up it. So as I came down, my legs were killing me, and when people weren't looking, I just slid down and ran on my bum for 100 feet. I've been making bowls for... I'm not sure, but I think about 25 years. are sold in Canmore through Stonewater, but I sell a lot face-to-face -to, -face to friends and relatives and word of mouth. to hunt and I have hunted down in the Porcupine Hills for many, many years and we have great friends that own the ranches down there. Every year when I when my days are numbered, it's just so nice to get out and see the mountains and the hills and, and see the animals, not just to shoot. Because I when the, when my children were young and I persuaded them there were two types of deer. There were Bambi deer and eating deer, and I only shot the eating deer. Well, the worst part about COVID is having to be isolated, because we're, at my age, I'm very susceptible to COVID, and it, it'd be necessary not to see all my children and grandchildren. But, and... My dog does not r replace my family. Do you know when you'll be vaccinated? They have finished all the 
the old seniors' homes. And supposedly I'm next on the list, the seniors. I hope to have it possibly sometime in February or March. And then I'm going to run around and hug all my family. Okay, you are vaccinated. I mean, fortunate that a lot of my kids have the same interests I have. We go hunting and fishing and skiing and hiking. And hopefully I can keep up that to a degree, uh, a lesser degree, no doubt, in the future. But yeah, I mean, lucky to be able to do it as long as I have. you apart from people or friends your age? Well, one of the things is I am unique is that I'm still alive because I have practically no friends at my mm -hmm. age. And the young people I hang out with are about roughly 70 years. But because I've always been active, I've been for, very fortunate I have had good health. All right, nice to see you, Dad. Nice to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> or my computer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>